in order to be a listener, in order to be receptive to his voice, where do you think we need to be spiritually as far as our relationship with the Lord? How important is it, is it to have that moment by moment, disciplined, quiet time with the Lord, either early in the morning or sometime during the day, even if it's at night or whenever it is, reading the Bible, studying scripture with friends, of course, going to church, oh, but yeah. there's so much more responsibility yeah. that really is on our shoulders. So tell us why and how some of those um, things, they're things, they're can things. enhance our relationship with Jesus Christ. They're the critical. Spirit. They are central to our faith, to our growth in the Holy Spirit. And you met some of my friends earlier. Yes. Um, that's Precious. what we do. Mm -hmm. We all have early morning devotionals. We are all in the Word. You have to know the Word to be obedient. That's yes. right. The Holy Spirit is not going to say, you know, John 3, 16, yeah. or that <laughs> Ephesians, you know, we're created in Christ unto good works that mm -hmm. God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. We've got to know the Word. Mm -hmm. That's where the power comes from that and the Holy Spirit indwelling us. We got to be in the Word. We have to have devotionals. That's right. We need to associate with Christian friends. Right. Yes. We need to divorce ourselves from the things of the world that call and tempt us mm -hmm. and just let the Holy Spirit yes. call That's us. Right. Linda, I want to ask you some questions about the end of your book. You talk about the seasons of the fruit because this is so um, uh, just kind of, it's just rich. It's good where we go through the seasons of, uh, you talk about spring, summer, fall, and winter. How, what is right. the correlation with the fruits of the Spirit with that part? Oh, of that's book? a good question there, Barbara. <laughs> um, <laughs> most people ask other things about the book. But I think the, the seasons of the fruit, uh, when I was writing the book, the Holy Spirit just gave me thoughts that there are seasons of the fruit. There are yeah. times when we are quiet mm -hmm. within ourselves, like in the winter, mm -hmm. when the trees and the flowers are bare and they're being quiet and they're waiting until the springtime mm -hmm. when they will come up and flourish and bloom and will have the beauty and the mm -hmm. aroma of the flowers, mm -hmm. of the fruit coming on the trees in spring. But in, in the winter, now, our spirit, our fruit may be just kind of fermenting. Mm -hmm. In the summer, it's at its full. All of the flowers, all of nature breaks forth in fullness in the summertime. The trees are just green in their garb, in their robe, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. um, the fruits are beautiful in their colors, the oranges, the reds, the yellows, the vegetables. And in the fall, in the fall, what a beautiful time yes. when um, there's there's also a poem in the book that I wrote about a walk on a fall day when when the, the trees were just shedding their leaves and they were dancing. Mm -hmm. They were oh. dancing down on the breeze and falling on the ground in all their beauty. The trees were just gorgeous. In the fall, our fruit is gorgeous and ripe yes. after a summer of growing and we're ready to share it with everyone. It is abundant. It is full. It is noticeable. Mm -hmm. People see the fruits of the Spirit in our lives. That's what this book is about. Uh, the people whom I have known who manifested the fruit of the Spirit in their life richly, it's there and people want it. They yeah. see it in it. us as Christians mm -hmm. and they want it and mm -hmm. it's up to us to yes. tell them how to get it through the Word. In the last couple minutes we have here with mm. you, you have many callings in your life. You're an artist, you're a singer, you, yes. but, but what is the most important calling in your life? Uh, when people meet you or when you have a chance to minister to someone, how has God allowed you to be a part of His ultimate work? What's, what are the callings in your life and how do you use those? To tell people about the Holy Spirit, yes. to tell people about Jesus, to share just what God has done for me is such a terrific pleasure to me. Uh, and I want to see them want that, you know. That's, that's another reason I wrote the book. I want to encourage people to have the joy of the Spirit. Mm. The love, joy, peace, peace. long-suffering, <laughs> kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Mm. We all need the faithfulness and it can only come once we give our life to Christ yes. and the Holy Spirit comes to live within us. Mm. That, that is my calling to talk about that, to tell about that. Yes. Mm. Yes. One thing we did in our little Bible study is we tried to come up with the word of the year that would be real important for us. And a lot of people in the group would choose words like joy or peace yeah. or patience. Right. And, and I thought, you know, all of these fruits of the Spirit are our words. We don't even really have to pray for these. They're ours. We have them. We have them. Right. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. They're all with 
within us, but we just need to tap into that. We do. And so that's the challenge for us as Christians, Landa, every day. I'm sure you would agree with that, how to tap into that and how to, to live these victorious, abundant lives of the fruit. That's right, Barbara. That, that is one of my points that I always want to make is it's there. Yes. That's right. That's Just right. grasp it and pull it into yourself. Mm. Right. Well, if you'd like to get more information about this book, and uh, you can go to our guest, Landa Ellsworth's website, and that's www dot l a n d a capital e l l s w o r t h don't forget to put that capital in there dot com right. and you can get more information about the book and find all the different places it's available at bookstores uh, online and uh, hopefully we'll get it on our website here at tv forty five two and uh, you know the power of the holy spirit that's what gives us the the kindness jo goodness joy mm -hmm. peace right. All the fruits of the Spirit. And That's if right. you know what we're talking about, you, you have sensed that in your mm -hmm. life. And if you don't know it right now, we want to pray for your Father in the name yes. of Jesus. I pray for those who are looking for something more mm -hmm. in their life.